If your goal is to make a day trading strategy within Thinkorswim, then you don't want this to happen. You don't want to end up holding the trade overnight. Well, I'm going to make a short video today showing you all how to fix that in your ThinkScript coding. Alrighty, so I've got a real simple ThinkScript strategy running on your screen now. By the way, if you're new to all of this, hi, welcome to the channel. Building custom Thinkorswim scripts is what we do here. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in this. I'm not going to talk too much about the intricacies of this code. This is all pretty basic stuff, but what we're going to do is we're going to amend a condition onto our cell, of course, for getting out at the end of the day. Now, I'm going to build this according to a five minute chart, and I'll talk a little bit about what that means here in just a second. So our cell, if the RSI value is less than 40, we're going to sell the trade or using our conditional and conditional operators here, or if the seconds till time, this is a function, which of course, what do functions accept? Parameters, the parameter this function accepts is probably obviously time. So we're gonna do that using 24 hour clock. We're gonna go with 1555, obviously 355, five minutes before market close. And I'm building it five minutes before market close because I'm using a five minute chart and I want it to trigger on the bar prior to the bar closing, because as you all may or may not know, within Thinkorswim, it actually won't execute. It'll exit at the right price, but it won't finish its execution or showcase its execution until the next bar. So we want to take care of it on that previous bar. This means if you're using a 15 minute chart, you want to go 45. You know, if you're using a one hour chart, you want to go 1400, this, that, and the others. Make sure your seconds till time is executing on the bar previous to the final bar of the day, if that makes sense. If I go ahead and hit apply now, we should see um, actually, or seconds till time. Uh, what did I do? Oh, oh, hello, Trey, think I'm making a video here. Hey, I've got one more step to do in this. All I said was, or seconds till time 1555. I didn't say the, the what happens, like what, what about seconds till time? So this will just always be true. Currently, it's just always true. So whenever the strategy is entering, it's immediately exiting, right? Duh, Trey, pay a little bit of attention here. Um, I'm going to set this equal to zero. When you set uh, functions equal to an integer, you use dual equal signs. Uh, so when the seconds till time 1555 is equal to zero, when there are no seconds left until 355, then this statement is true, not just all the time as it is right now. Now, if I hit apply, okay, there we go. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. You see how it like, it like doesn't paint until the next bar, but it does get out at the right price since we told it to close at 1355. That's how you have your trades exit at a specific time of day. Now, I'm also in this video going to cover how to only enter until a specific time of day. So let's go over that next. Let's say you want your day trading strategy to only enter after 1030. You're looking to avoid that first hour of the day crazy volatility. This is a very common timing metric amongst traders. Let's go ahead and build that into our strategy. We, of course, are going to suffix this onto our buy condition. And rather than using the or conditional formatting, whereas the sell will sell, you know, if the RSI is less than 40 or if the day ends for our buy condition, the RSI needs to be over 70. And now we're going to use instead of seconds till time, we're going to use seconds from time. We're going to go with 1025, that five minute bar before 1030, since we're on the five minute chart, and this needs to be greater than zero. So where seconds till time is looking, hey, how many seconds are still left until this time? We set this equal to zero so that when you know, when there are zero seconds until 1555, AKA when it's 355, this returns true. Now seconds from time is looking at how many seconds exist after whatever time you put into this parameter entrance, right? So seconds from time 1025 greater than zero. So anytime it is one second past 1025 or later, this statement will return true. 
If you're looking at the uh, chart kind of over here to my left, uh, you can see this is the start of a brand new day. The strategy is entering because the RSI is above 70. Hopefully now when I hit apply, that should go away. Yep, and it slides out to here. So it's now no longer entering here, even though the RSI is over 70 because this is at 930, right? It waits and waits and waits. And then here actually nicely enough, at 1030, the RSI is also back above 70. But you notice the RSI got above 70 on the previous bar as well. But this bar is 1025. It's not after 1025 yet, right? It's not after 1025 until the close of this bar where it gets in. So I wanna hop back into the script and add one more layer of complexity to this just so I know you all perfectly understand. Let's say, scenario, you have a full-time job. You really only have one hour of the day where you can pay attention fully to the markets and therefore are willing to enter trade. So we're gonna amend another, uh, another timing function onto our buy condition. And now we are going to use seconds till time and we're going to give ourselves an hour so until 11 25 and this also greater than zero because remember what the seconds till time means how many seconds until it is 11 25 right so this one also greater than zero now this this function here will only return true if we are more than zero seconds from time 10 25 and more from zero seconds till time 11 25 meaning it won't execute any trades it won't enter any trades after 11 25. let's go ahead and hit apply now and let me go ahead and see quickly if i can find an example of where a stock you know where we would enter but don't because of that timing here's one where it breaks above 70 but it's at 9 35 so it doesn't enter ends up being a very good choice as you can see the market kind of dies after that which is why a lot of people don't want to enter that first hour same sort of scenario here let me find an example of a trade that would enter after 11:25, but doesn't what time is this here perfect here we break over 11 or sorry we break over 70 rsi but if you can tell up there in the top left it is 2 10 p.m when it breaks over uh, when it breaks over 70 rsi you know, we're at work, we're busy, we're doing whatever we need to do. The seconds, the seconds till time, if I'm if I'm saying that right, the seconds till time on 1125 is not greater than zero. There are no seconds until 1125. That's a that's a null value now since we're after 720 or since we're after 1125. This statement is not true. Therefore, we do not end up getting into this trade at 220 p.m. You all just watched this video, so you're obviously interested in custom ThinkScript codes. I have over 40 different coded, be it strategies, scanners, custom indicators, etc., available on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. There'll be a link in the description down below this video. And as always, those of you that make it to the end of my videos, I like to give you a little extra bonus, a little extra push towards systematic trading because it really helped change my life. And those of you that are taking your education seriously, I want to help you out as well. So use discount code END at checkout, get $10 off your first month, which obviously you can cancel at any time under the My Account tab. So don't feel like you're locked in. Daytradingstrategies.net, once again, click the link in the description down below, go sign up and become a better trader today. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. Ha 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 ha!